This is question number 21, 2020 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, and you are told a road contractor has, a transport, has to transport 240 tons of hardcore. He will use two types of lorries, type A and type B. He has three type A lorries and two type B lorries. The capacity of type A lorry is 8 tons, while that of type B is 15 tons. All, the, all type A lorries must, make, must each make the same number of trips. Similarly, all type B lorries must make the same number of trips. The number of trips made by each type B lorry should be less than twice those made by type A lorry. Each type A lorry must uh, not make more than six trips. Uh, take X to be the number of trips made by each type of a, type A lorry and Y represent the number of trips made by type B lorry. Form all the inequalities uh, X, uh, in X and Y to represent the above information. So here we have been given condition. For example, the number of tons to be transported is 240 type A and type B lorry. So we have three type A, two type B capacity 8 and 15 so i'm going to use next page so we say at the we have um, three types of uh, type a lorries capacity is 8 so we multiply by x plus uh, two types of lorry capacity is 15 of y that should be that should be greater the minimum should be uh, greater or equals 240 times. So this is 24x plus 30y is, le is greater or equals to 240, which we can simplify. Divide by 6, we'll be able to, uh, to get 4x uh, plus 5x is greater or equals to 240. I divide 240 by 40. So that is one inequality. The other inequality is that uh, we are told that uh, type um, the number of trees made by each type B lorry must should be less than twice the number of made by each of type A. So we can also form that. We say uh, y should be less than 2x. The number of trips made by Type B lorry should be less than twice the number of trips made by the type A lorry. From there, we have each type A lorry must not make more than six trips. So we say uh, X, okay, we can write it here. X should be less than six, less than or equals two, less than or equals two. And of course, we have X is greater than zero x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So we should be able to plot these uh, graphs of this inequality. So we take uh, the first one, uh, this one, uh, we will say here it is 4x plus 5y is greater than or equals to 40. Uh, we are supposed to make a table here. Uh, we have x and y so you just say when x is 0 uh, so this 5 divided by 40, 40 divided by 5 you get 8 y is 8 when x is 10 this is 40 so y will be 0 when x is 5 uh, this will be 20 take it to the other side we have 20 y is 4 so that is a uh, we are going to plot that uh, so let's start by labeling our Cartesian plane. So we have that is one, we have two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is our x. Then along the y axis we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Uh, we can have ten, eleven, twelve. 
Now, we are going to use these values to plot. So when x is 0, y is 8. y is 8, so we have our point there. y is 0, x is 0, when x, y is 8. When x is 10, y is 0. When x is 5, y is 4. So we are going to join the three points and uh, we come up with a, with a line like that. So that represent, uh, that represent the graph of this. Now we look for the, st for the site that we don't need. What we do, we can take one point here, like zero, zero. When you zero plus zero, is it greater than 40? No. So that side, we confirm. We can take like uh, 10 and 10, uh, 10 and 10. 40, that will be 40 plus, uh, 40 plus uh, 50 is greater than, so that is correct. So we shade off this side of the graph. So we are done. We are done with that. Uh, once you do that, then have a look at the second one. Uh, we have y is it, y is uh, we use y is equals to two x. So we can just make a simple table here when x and y. So when x is one, y is two. When x is two, y is four. When x is three, y is six. So when x is one y is 2 when x is 1 y is 2 when x is 2 y is 4 and when uh, x is 3 y is 6 y is 6 so that's where we have so we do the same we draw the line here to pass through those points uh can extend it here then we check which side we don't we need to shade off. Uh, so we are using this inequality. So take zero and zero. When y is less than, uh, okay, let's take uh, uh, one and two. So y is two, is two less than two? No. So uh, we confirm. Uh, we on the other side, if we take x is zero and y is eight. Uh, x is 0 is is 8, eight no so this side we don't need so we shade off that side uh, so that's how you confirm the side that you don't need uh, from there we have x is equals to 6 so we just draw a line passing through x is equals to 6 and it should pass there okay so and x is less than so it means this side we don't need so that is the region that we have uh, for this question using the inequalities that we have drawn and that's okay uh, we go back to the question uh, on the grid draw there we have already done that uh, so we look at part c so we have drawn the the unwanted the Shade, we have shared the region that we need types uh, part c the cost of operating each type of rolly is five thousand per trip while that of operating type b is twelve thousand five hundred per trip determine the number of trip each type of rolly should make in order to minimize the cost of transporting the hardcore hence calculate minimum cost uh, so what we do is uh, we are going to look back to the graph. Uh, we are told the cost of uh, so uh, there were three there were three rollies of type A. Each was cost the cost of uh, operating one was five thousand. So it means the cost would be uh, five thousand x. You add two. There were two types of rollie uh, of type B. Operating cost 12,500 of Y, that will give you a constant C. So if you multiply here, you get 15,000 X uh, plus this will be 25,000 uh, Y is equal to C. 
Uh, what we do is we take a point near where we can get the minimum cost. The minimum cost will be on this side. So we can take 0 and 5. 0 and 5 that point. So we take 0 and 5. So if we, op if we substitute, 15,000 times 0 is 0. Uh, 12, 25, so we have 0 plus, uh, tw uh, this is uh, uh, 25, uh, 0 plus 25,000 multiplied by 5. The value of y, that should give you, uh, that's that when you multiply that, you multiply by 5, you should get 125,000. So what we are creating here is what we call the search line. So if we substitute this value here, we will get 15,000 x, then we have plus 25,000 y is equals to 125,000. You simplify, you can simplify first by dividing by, by 1,000. Then we divide by 5, we get 3x plus 5y is equals to uh, 125 divided by 5 is 25. So this is what we call search line. It is the one that is going to help us uh, get the minimum. So what we do, we, we make a table here and make uh, we, we make a search line here. So when x is, so we have x and this is y. When x is 0, uh, y is 5. When x is 5, this is 15 y is 2. Uh, we can just use those two points to make that line. And I'm going to use a, a different color or you can you can just draw uh, you can just draw a, a dotted line. So when x is 0, y is 5. When x is 5, y is 2. x is 5, y is 2. So we are going to draw uh, the search line. The search line, I'll use a green color to, or you can just draw, you can use a, you can use a, a dotted line to differentiate. Uh, so that is the search line. And to be able to, to get the minimum cost, uh, what you need is uh, you need to bring a ruler. So you take a ruler and you let it, uh, you set it in such a way that it, it lies on the search line. It lies on the search line. So you set it there. Uh, then you bring uh, a set square. So you press it here. You press it here. So what you do is uh, now you slide, you slide, you slide your you are you, you slide your compass the last point which will be touched by the search when you slide your your set square along the search line then you should be able to the last point to be touched you can see it is uh, it is uh, five it is x is five and y is equals to three y is equals to three uh can't be able to do but that's how you do it so you set it like uh when you slide it like that the first point to be touched is this one this is x is five and y is y is uh, four actually y is four y is four so that is a minimum cost which we can be able to calculate and say uh we have uh the 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 role, the type a role, we will make uh, we will make f uh, uh, five trips uh, which you multiply there are three and the cost is five thousand so that will give you uh, seven thousand uh, that is seventy five thousand so that will be the cost of uh, operating the the type a role, seventy five thousand the other one is uh, we have two lorries. Uh, no, we have uh, four four trips. You have uh, two lorries, and the cost is twelve thousand five hundred. 
when you compute that you get a hundred thousand a hundred thousand so the minimum cost of uh, total cost total minimum cost is equal to 175,000 so that is the minimum cost uh, that the contractor will use so that's how you go about that question I hope you have followed uh, and if you get to that point then you'll be able to get 10 marks